Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I'm coming to you with the TBR jar 2021. So here behind me I actually have five TBR jars. So what I've done this time is, uh, so if you saw my video at the beginning of this year explaining the TBR jar 2020, um, I basically filled up the jar with all the books that I got in 2019 and then I, uh, when I got a new book in 2020, if I didn't read it right away, it went into the jar as well. Um, I really did not think I was going to get very many books and in, in uh, 2020 that I ended up not reading. The pandemic happened and I ended up mostly reading ebooks and all kinds of stuff. So, um, so I ended up actually accumulating quite a few books, like 20 books that I uh, still have not read at the moment. Um, so anyway, um, what I've done for 2021 is actually uh, filled up five different jars with, and they each are for a different year for where when I got those books. So I do have 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017, and then the last jar in the row is the um, the 2016 and 2015 because I only have three books from 2015, so it didn't make sense to have a jar dedicated just to books I got that year. Um, so any. Anyway, what I plan to do is basically just, you know, if I don't have very many books on my TBR for that month already, I think what, I, what I'm going to do is pick one from each jar. I think that'd be kind of fun. And if I just want to pick one, um, then I'm just going to use a number generator or roll a die or whatever to determine which jar I pick one from. So for the purposes of this video, I think it would be really fun to just kind of pick one from each jar just to see, um, because, I mean, you, you guys don't really know a whole lot about what books are in which jar or anything like that. Um, unless you like religiously watch my book hauls or something like I, I don't freaking know. So anyway, I just think that would be really cool. And also this is not where they're gonna just live on my shelf. I'm gonna find a better place for them, maybe on the shelf below. I'm not really sure, but I don't really like them blocking those books. Um, those pretty hard covers that are all colorful right there. I feel like I need to find a different place for those jars. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, that's just where they are. These books I got in 2020, I'm gonna pick one out of the jar just because, like, why not? And then I'll see if I want to read that this month and if I get to it, all of that. Power of Thorns by Juliette Marillier is the sequel to Dreamer's Pool, which I read at the very beginning of the year or the very end of last year. I think it was the very beginning of this year. What month are we even in? Like, where are we? Um, who are we? I don't even know. Who am I? So anyway, um, the first book was such a quick read for me. I got so into it and I'm really excited to continue this one. So this one is probably going to be a fairly quick read as well. For 2019, let's see what, what book we pick. I I feel like there are actually fewer um, books in this one, so that's actually kind of good. The Iron Tree by Cecilia Dart Thornton. So far it's basically just like the, um, the you know, old epic fantasies, um, but that's most of what's on my bookshelf, so there's that. Like very, very few books on my shelf that are unread are anything other than fantasy because typically the books that I buy are mostly all fantasy. So yeah, for 2018 we have Thomas the Rhymer by Ellen Kushner. I've actually been wanting to get to this book for quite some time. I do believe this was a World Fantasy Award winner so um, I've been wanting to get to it since but way before I actually had a copy and I like stumbled across a copy one day and I still haven't gotten to it. It's a really short book so like I should really just get to it and read this gosh darn book. For the books I have from 2017, let's see what I have today. Imagica by Clive Barker. Barker? Barkler? Uh, yeah, Barker. Um, so this is uh, actually not two books. This is two parts of the same book. I don't know why it's split into two volumes, but it just is. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to get to this for quite some time. I've heard a lot of really good things about it, and I don't know why I haven't read it. I just haven't, because I'm weird. And the last one, which is the 2016 slash 2015 jar. Um, there are only three books from 2015 in here, so I kind of doubt it'll be a 2015. The Little Country by Charles DeLint. So I do have actually like three Charles DeLint books that I've been meaning to get to for quite some time, but this is the one that I do believe I have had the longest. So I really do hope to get to this book fairly soon, but I don't know why, I just haven't yet. So these are the books that I just got out of the TBR jars. Um, like I said, I'm. this is just for this video. Um, 
every month I really don't know if I'm going to be like picking just one or picking one from every single one. It's just going to kind of depend on how many other books I have to read that month. But this still gives me, you know, just picking some for this video just still kind of gives me a good idea of what maybe I should read next if I feel like it. So hopefully I'll read those books soon. Um, but if not, no pressure. They, you know, they might get picked out of the jar again next month. Who knows? But anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you are planning to do uh, for how you pick your TBR jar in uh, the coming year. Um, if it's any different from what you've been doing, anything like that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!